Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message, Pisces. So what is the message for Pisces for the week, please? 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Three of Cups. Tarot Grand Lux here, Pisces. Um, I'm also using, using the other Tarot cards, Radiant Wise Spirit and the Classic Rider Waite. Um, and Angel Answer cards. And at the end, we will pull Karen Kay's Oracle of the Fairies. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Peaceful Resolution. And that's with the Three of Cups, which is nice, which is about unity. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. So the first card, Pisces, as you all know by now, we have the challenge position. Second card is advice from the spirit. Third card is your outcome. Then we clarify the cards, go deep into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Okay. I'm just going to take the ones that literally fell on the floor. Fell on the, fell on the floor, fell on the table. I've got the Empress and the Five of Wands. Interesting, I had uh, similar energies for Cancer. It's not unusual for... Uh, signs of the same element have similar energies okay we've got the chariot interesting cancer and uh five of cups is your outcome let's clarify go deeper into the message pisces what do we have for our lovely pisces please 22nd to the 28th of march 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for Pisces? Thank you. Message for Pisces. Thank you. Queen of Wands, card of Aries. Very similar energies. Okay, the chariot is clarified with the Queen of Swords. And we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords here. Let's get an extra card for this Page of Swords. Thank you. Okay, yeah, it's this Queen of Wands. Okay, and that's the, the Queen that's in the challenge position as well. <clears throat> okay, the, there is communication energy here. I definitely feel in this situation there is a, a, re, a reunion or some kind of um, unity coming together. Uh, that could be in the form of forgiveness, putting differences aside. Um, but this is symbolizing uh, the unity. You know, this can be friendship. This can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. This can be fallouts at work. Call it what you will. But what the Three of Cups is symbolizing, it's an energy of... 
the cold period is over and the you know the sun is the the, the warm is coming out now the winter is over the spring is here so it definitely feels in this energy that you'll be able, you're able to put your differences to one side with somebody and release that and come together again a reunion of some kind here pisces yeah peaceful resolution so agree differences uh, through some kind of communication here, conversation, messages. So it feels quite strong and it feels to do with this Queen of Wands, which is, can be Aries for me as a reader. Because the energy of the Empress, which, I mean, again, this can be a powerful female, certainly with the Queens on the table. You might be dealing with a female, Oh, this could you know she she can be a female energy she is the feminine energy um but the empress uh in terms of the five of wands this is about she, she generally represents abundance but in this position it's kind of like some kind of lack Yeah, and with this five of, of wands, it feels in this situation there is some conflict, disagreement, not being on the same page. You might not have been talking to each other. There may have been some fallout where you were blocking each other. It, it feels that kind of energy here. Pisces, I have to say, it feels like some block, um, some disagreement, some fallout, some argument here. Uh, it caused you to block somebody or them to block you. I mean, this can be vice versa energy as well. It is somebody who is in your immediate environment generally, somebody who um, you have a quite a close connection with. So this Queen of Wands is is generally somebody who is in their power, in control, magnetic, um, confident, social butterfly, um, charismatic, you know, uh, full of life, you know, that kind of energy. You now, the queen can be male or female energy. Clearly, it's a court card. Um, Empress is more divine. So it feels in this situation, whatever this represents for you, these can be people or the energies of, but I definitely feel this queen of wands is somebody that you might have fallen out with. Can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or somebody who represents the qualities that I've described. Because the Queen of Wands is somebody who takes calculated action, calculated choices, decisions. So it feels in this situation, Pisces, you've, felt, you've fallen out with somebody, it feels somebody in your environment, in whatever aspect there is an opportunity for a reunion and this reading is saying that there is going to be a reunion taking place because somebody wants to do the right thing get the balance back you know um you know the chariot is overcoming challenge overcoming difficulty um towards victory and success you know so there's definitely an energy of there is a, a willingness, there is a desire to restore balance and communication. You know, the, this is the shift. And I definitely feel in this situation somebody wants to do that here. Queen of Swords is all about balance. Uh, she's a Libran energy all about um, getting to the truth of the situation, but also an energy here of, of give and take, being open to listen as well as impart your own words and wisdom. So, you know, she holds that left hand out for a reason because she's open to receive. And it feels for some of you, you know, certainly with this chariot, you know, you can see the, the Sphinx is black and white. There's definitely this energy of there's an opportunity for something that has, that has been imbalanced 
to, to pull the reins back into balance, you know, pull something back into balance, to take charge of something and do something about it. And it feels that there's a desire for somebody, could be you, could be the other person here, who wants to really pull something into balance and take action and overcome some kind of obstacle to restore that harmony. Because they regret the conflict. This person regrets the conflict. Like I said, it could be you, could be the other person. But they regret falling out. They regret not speaking. They regret the bad feeling. They regret the resentment. You know, they regret the words that they used. You know, it could have been some pretty hurtful words here as well. And it definitely feels in this energy. It definitely feels in this energy, Pisces. There's regret here and they want to do something about it. You know, they want to take action to, to right a wrong. Um... And, you know, this is the message of truth. You know, this is speaking their truth. They want to bring change. You know, the pages can represent the beginnings of truth, the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. You know, it's almost kind of like they want to wipe the slate clean by expressing a message of truth. Um, and whatever that means to you, they're doing, they're wanting to do something about it. So this Queen of Wands, I mean, you know, in a, this could be you, Pisces, this week. This could be somebody who you might have fallen out with here. But it definitely feels in this energy, you might have blocked them. You might not have been talking to them. You know, this is lack of abundance, lack of growth, lack of um, just feeling lack to do with this person. So it definitely feels in this energy that, you know, there is an opportunity. They want to do the right thing. Um, yeah. Just seeing if I'm getting anything else from that. No, I feel that there's a new, a new conversation that's going to happen here. Yeah. And it's leading to this, which is some kind of reunion. And this is a celebratory energy. You know, uh, the winter is over, the spring is here. The period of, you know, it's almost kind of like that cold front is disappearing and things are beginning to grow again, which is the Empress energy. She is all about everything is generally, if it's not in the challenge position, she is all about the abundance, the growth, the creativity, the, you know, the warmth, the feel good. Um, positive energy so it definitely feels in this energy that yeah there is some kind of reunion on the cards peaceful resolution yeah okay so i'm going to pull a final card pisces final card for pisces please Angels, Spirits, Guides, final card for Pisces, yeah, <laughs> hope, yes, hope is always there even if we can't see it, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one, how appropriate is that for the reading, um, there's hope here, all is not lost, all is not lost and it feels that there is some hope here to just put something behind you and move on. Um, and be reunited with somebody that you've fallen out with. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.